So when playing England in this new patch, it's important to keep a positive mindset. For example, it's not, paradox, why the hell would you buff France? It's, oh, a worthy adversary. It's not, oh god, they all have their own individual manpower pools. It's, oh, more experience for my army. Yes! You did it! Get it! So in this patch, this strategy depends entirely on Castile. So I'd recommend restarting if they don't start friendly towards you. So your first move should be to ally Castile. Set your rivals as France, Burgundy, and whoever else, and build to your force limit with cavalry and infantry. Additionally, you want to start a debate in the parliament. From this, you want to take anything that's military related. Then, unpause. You're going to want to ally every country France might ally. In my tests, these were usually Scotland, Genoa, Savoy, Aragon, and the Papal State. Additionally, ally Austria for a strong friend on the continent, but prioritize Castile and Scotland particularly. You're going to want to ferry your troops over to France, Royal marry all of your allies, and then wait for the surrender of Maine. When the war starts, you're going to want to call in Castile and promise them land. Then, hire a local mercenary company that has cavalry in it, and is relatively cheaper than the rest for its size, and send them to Cid Chartres, which is the province next to Paris. Apologies for the pronunciation. You're going to want to issue a defensive edict in the Calais and Laborde areas. Then, just wait until the siege of Chartres finishes. The increased amount of AI you're facing means that there should be more opportunities to snipe stacks and be opportunistic. For example, if they're sieging down Calais, upon the siege's conclusion in Chartres, take all of your armies and engage them. In my experience, the AI typically goes for the path of least resistance. In comparison between you and Castile, this is Castile due to the mercenary company. This is why it's so crucial to hire them on day one. So after you've dealt them a defeat, they'll typically maneuver south to engage Castile, who will have likely pushed it to France proper. As they're doing this, you're going to want to siege down Paris. If the French armies have headed south and they don't have too many allies, siege down Anjou, Poitou, and the Orléans capital, though don't spread yourself out too thinly. Make sure you can reinforce any battles. Additionally, if the opportunity arises, leave 1,000 men behind to maintain the siege and attack any stacks that you think you can wipe or deal casualties to. This will help with bringing down France's war exhaustion. So, in my experience, by this point, France will be sieging down Castile. Again, this leaves you free to proceed south and slowly siege all of the relevant provinces. The presence of the vassals in this patch provides quite easy targets for increasing your war score. However, there is one mountain province that I advise you surround with your own men and scorch the earth around to ensure you don't actually have to fight in the mountains, because you will lose this. Depending on the situation, you can usually wait for Castile to peace out separately. This will prevent any loss of trust, though France will typically make them annul their alliance with you. Should you need it later, you can always ally them again. Once they do peace out, you should have at least 60% war score, which is what's required to pursue the Union. The second you get this, peace out. And that's essentially it, you've won the Hundred Years' War, and you have France as a junior partner. From here, I would advise dealing with the War of the Roses, if it's occurred, and instantly improving relations with France. Do bear in mind that the personal union will break if France has a negative opinion of you upon your monarch's death. Beyond this, in the current state of the game, I would always advise going for Emperor because it's just so broken that you can't really avoid it. However, if you don't want an easy game, I'd advise consolidating your hold over the British Isles in order to wait and burn off aggressive expansion in Europe, having established the personal union, and from there attacking Burgundy and generally storming through Europe. So, thank you guys for watching. Please let me know which nation you'd like to see me do next. Obviously, this is an updated version of my old video, so if there's one you'd like to see updated, also let me know that. With changes to the game on the horizon, make sure to turn on notifications so you can try out these strategies before they have to change. Thank you guys for watching. There lies a knight slain under his shield with a dawn. His hounds, they lie down. Hello, my children. I must give you a message. Subscribe to the Social Streamers for Eternal Salvation.